Alrighty. Okay, so we oh, aggro time. We, we we played aggression uh, for the first game, and so we're actually playing protection. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. So we are playing protection as our final game with Miles Morales. I think that protection is going to be interesting because we are just going to go for a sunlock instead of like a perfect defense or def defend anything like that. Uh, the Diamond's Edge Venom. Look, I don't want to be the hero, so I'm trying to live long enough to see myself become the villain. Plus, I got kicked out of the Daily Beagle, so I'm just job hunting like random. Yep, everyone's kind of like out of sorts with this, but we're trying to figure their, figure out what to do with their lives. It's a hard job market right now. It's a, it's a hard job market. But the, that Venom ally is really intriguing to me. I he's He's interesting. He's definitely very interesting because... I don't know. Yeah, I, I, that's cool. That's a lot of damage put out, but it, I mean, it is, it's high risk. It's very high risk. So, so we, I, I did make the change to the deck. We are going to be running Venom um, in the, this protection deck. And that is because we are running a couple of cards that mitigate the bad cards that get flipped up. So we are actually going to run Black Widow. I don't think I've ever put Black Widow into a deck before. So this says, when a card is revealed from the encounter deck, exhaust Black Widow and spend a um, mental resource, cancel the effects of that card and discard it, then reveal another card from the encounter deck. So actually, I don't think that that really worked. Well, it, it, it has some synergy, but I, interrupt takes the effect before responses. And so if we see something that we really don't like, we can go ahead and just negate it with Black Widow. And we got enhanced awareness to fulfill that cost. Or if we see something that says zero and we want to flip up something that's a little bit higher than than i was gonna be there i have to work at 5 a.m which is uh, like four and a half hours it's short shift but i'm considering just staying up to enjoy the stream and chill out i mean i'm i would love for you to hang out it's also like four and a half hours that's not a lot of time so <laughs> okay um so in the unboxing video if you were here on friday when we were talking about that we unboxed this new card called return the favor so this is discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you reveal a treachery, reveal that treachery, and um, deal five damage to the villain. So I did not like this card. I don't think I like this card, but I want to build a deck around it, or build a deck with it to see how it works. I do think that there is, syner or there is synergy here with Venom, right? Because now we're probably dealing at least six damage. And so that makes it a little bit better. But also we're running three get behind these. So, get behind me is when a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its win reveal effects and the villain attacks you instead. And so, that still keeps this response because we're only canceling the win revealed effects. Why did you think I was playing aggression? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, played aggression first. Um, we lost with aggression. They, the villain, we flipped up a gang up and the villain attacked me for a lot of damage. So, they get behind me. Um, <clears throat> so, we can return the favor to get behind me. And with Miles' stun ability, then ideally this get behind me is just going to run into a stun. And then we'll still get to trigger Venom if we can have him on the table. Then we have two tackles just to maintain that stun. We've got Clea as a, you know, I don't know why Clea is in this deck actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. We're gonna run with it. I don't think I don't know if I would would have clay in this deck. I may try and find something with another mental resource. We got Spider UK. So when Spider UK defends it against its attack, deal damage equal to the attacking enemy equal to the number of web warrior cards you control. So that's cool. We're gonna swap Clea for Peter. That makes no sense to me. I'd much rather have Peter in this deck. Okay, Peter. That also helps Spidey. Iron Fist, more stuns, more fun. Victor is in there for all the minions. We've got power protections to pay for stuff. We're flipping a lot, so that gives us tough status cards. What doesn't kill me, readies. Silk is going to go cancel something. Probably shadows. So, that's the deck. We'll see. I want to make sure I have 25 too. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 5. Yep. So, 
we'll see how it goes. It feels like a deck that I'm probably going to need the exact cards at the right time. So this may actually work a little bit better in Gwen's deck because she has her uh, George Stacy or whatever her father's name is. So she can store the, the cards that she needs. But also she has just such a great perfect defense build that it may be hard to not run that in in a deck magic moose how you doing sorry in and out because of work are you fighting each boss before jumping into the campaign i i am actually not so i i'm going through my hero spotlight videos so i'm playing every single marvel champions hero in all four of the aspects and then i will be talking about them i don't know if you've seen the videos on youtube where i talk about kind of the kit and rank them and so instead of starting off on the campaign i decided to start off and play the two heroes um so i finished i just finished four games with gwyn and now this is my fourth game with miles and i just decided to grab villains from the new set um and so played venom now we're playing sandman so not not um not playing all of the villains i will start the campaign probably here in two weeks uh so not this friday but the following friday and then we will we'll play some villains um we'll play play through the campaign so these are the only two villains that i'm playing before i start in on the campaign i think i shuffled that encounter deck two six all righty i got nine villains at 16. what do we got okay so we got energy power protection spider uk enhanced awareness victor and tackle Okay, so, got power protection for Victor, got tackle and for Spider UK, so we'll mulligan tackle and enhanced awareness for a get behind me and a web shooter. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so we will flip up to hero form. We're going to toss a power protection to play Victor. We're going to exhaust Spider to remove um, one there. We're going to toss a get behind me to play a web shooter. With Web Shooter on the table, we will exhaust Web Shooter, remove a counter from it. Play an energy to put Spider UK onto the table. How does defending work with indirect damage? De allies defending with indirect damage. I, I don't actually know. I'm going to... I think you just defend and you can assign... Assign the damage. However you want. But this says, like, whenever you defend against an attack, deal damage back equal to the number of web warriors you control. I think I'm doing that correctly, but... If not, someone will let me know. Okay, so we got Genki. Cool. We got Web Shot. Love seeing that. We got Tackle. Web Shot's... We got Spider-Man, and we got a, a way to pay for Spider-Man. Okay. And we got an acrobatics. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we got here. It doesn't do anything except for triggering that ability. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And then, and then does Victor... Can I effectively assign one damage to Victor and I reduce the amount of damage Victor takes from each attack by one? So basically, if I defend with Spider, I deal two damage back to him. And then if I assign damage to Victor, it's minus one damage for Victor. Or does Victor have to defend as well? Or defend instead? Asking all the hard questions. <laughs> That's a good question. I would think that... I would think that Victor would just be able to 
negate one of those damage. Negate a damage from it. Because it's... You reduce the amount of damage Victor takes from each attack by one. The attack deals indirect damage. And so I think I would be able to assign damage to Victor, reducing that amount by one. I don't know. I don't know. Alrighty. So let's... So we'll go ahead and place one here on the main scheme. I would think that Victor has to defend to do that, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, it's weird because typically in order for damage to be assigned to Victor, Victor has to defend. Sandman and Venom are fun, but Mysterio is crazy. I had eight encounter oh jeez. Eight encounter cards between two heroes and on one turn. All the villains have a thematic feel. That's my favorite expansion box. Awesome to hear. Also glad to have you here. Uh, thanks for joining. So I, I, I'm excited to play Mysterio. I think Mysterio, when I was doing my unboxing on Friday, I was saying that that's the one that I'm most excited for. And so I'm excited to dive into Mysterio. Sandman has been... I liked Venom. I think Venom is interesting. I wish that they had capped the number of tokens on the bell tower because it felt like I would just like, you know, swing in for like 10 or something and then just never take damage the rest of the time. Sandman is Sandman's fun though. I, I like the mill. The mill. Alright, so we place one. Uh Sandman's going to attack. I'm gonna defend with Spider UK. So we'll deal two damage back to Sandman. He's gonna attack for two plus three. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we'll deal two Um, three, four, five. I really don't want to mill that deck. Alrighty. Then our bad card is going to be Slice and Dice, Win Reveal, Prowler. Well, oh, shoot. I forgot to take Prowler out of here. <laughs> okay. Well... Hopefully we don't draw Shadows of the Past, but eight encounter cards. That's insane. Were you playing? Who were you playing as? Uh, uh, GJ Scott. Were you playing with uh, Miles and Gwen or was it like a like Star-Lord? <laughs> I, I feel like I've done eight encounter cards with Star-Lord just by myself, but that's also right before I lost. Okay, so our bad card is Loose Ends. Searching and counter deck set aside and removed to game area for a copy of your obligation. During that reveal, if you change to Alter Ego, you can discard. So, keeping secrets, we're going to discard Genki Lee and Jefferson Davis from play. If neither was discarded this way, this card gains Surge. So, Common Criminal, which gains Surge. Sand Clone. Goodness gracious. Okay. Mysterio was the most fun by far. Uh, so far. Gwen and Molly, Miles, nice, cool. But I, you haven't played Venom Goblin. I've heard Venom Goblin, or, uh, Venom Goblin is a treat. I, I hear he's kind of tough. So, it's kind of exciting. Alrighty. What am I slipping, sipping on? So this is a uh, Voodoo Ranger. I think just the standard Voodoo Ranger IPA. I bought like the the variety pack with the four different Voodoo Rangers, but I think this one's just the standard one. I had the hazy one. Or, oh, shoot. No, this is Starship. I have it right here, literally right here. So this is the Starship IPA, which is I think the one that's new um, to to the pack. It's it's good. It's I mean, like, great beer, good. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I like it, I like it. I like Voodoo Ranger. I was talking, like, Voodoo Ranger is, like, that solid choice, right? Like, you, like, it's always going to be good when you pick it up. It's going to be nice, especially if you like IPAs, so. Okay, so. 
We're going to toss a tackle. Uh, Genki and Arachnobatics to play Spider-Man. <laughs> I wish I liked IPAs. It's one of those that I I'm a I'm, I I like bitter taste, like so. I <laughs> this is actually okay. I'll I'll tell a fun story. So when I was when on my twenty first birthday when I went to the bar, I I had no idea what I was doing with like beer and or any type of beer, which is hilarious because now I have a podcast about beer. But I had no idea what I was doing, and I I was already you know not. The most sober person on my 21st birthday and i walked up to the bartender and there's a beer called rail splitter which is a ipa from uh, triton brewing company here in indiana and i i was like okay i want that because i really like the logo and like the part <laughs> the bartender looked at me and goes now that's an ipa do you know what that means and then i felt like if i said no i was going to be in a lot of trouble so i was like yes i know what that means and so <laughs> then I, I really enjoyed it, but it was just like, it definitely did not taste like a Coors Light or something that I had had before, but it's just, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was something. What is your drink of choice? Then if it's not beer, what is your drink of choice? Okay. So I am looking at, yeah. America's 21. We're 18 for alcohol here. I drink uh, spirits mostly. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. 21. So spirits mostly. I'm also a big whiskey. I really like whiskey. Dude, leave the afterlife alone. <laughs> um, or cocktails. I love making cocktails. Um, I've been in the beer industry for over a decade now, and it's crazy how different it is back. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I bet it's grown a lot. Just I've seen a lot more kind of just new, just not distill well distilleries, but also breweries just popping up just around. It's it's been it's been exciting. Um. Okay, so let's let's play this game. So we are going to swing for two on here, and then swing for two more, which will take out the sand clone, and then I get to ready Spider Man. When I do that, I'm going to hang on to common criminal. I think I want to roll down and actually activate his ability at some point. So we will just sit here and thwart for two off the main. And I find it weird that people not from the U.S. call it America and I just call it the States or the U.S. Yep. Yep. I, it's I think it's fairly. I, yeah, I don't know. It, it's kind of weird because America is like two continents, right? <laughs> Like, it's more than just the United States, but we tend to like to think of ourselves as the most important thing. So here we are. Um, okay, so that, that'll be my turn. I'm going to hang on to Webshot because I want to stun him here in a second. So we will ready up. We'll draw swing in. Another swing in. Well, it doesn't kill me. Okay, so two, four... And then Jefferson Davis. Alrighty. Yeah, but if we talk about the continent, we use North or South. That yeah, that's true. <laughs> yep. North America, South America, America. They mean three different things. And America is smaller than North and or South America in this context. Okay, so we'll start out, we'll place one here. Sandman's going to attack. We're gonna defend with Spider UK. The interrupt I deal three damage. I control three webbed warriors, so three damage. Um, down to 11 yeah when i hear america i hear america yeah <laughs> hey 17 sickles how you doing i know that's my cousin um hey ej um i hear america having team america world police theme song yeah yeah <laughs> i yep yeah, absolutely um Alrighty, so Sandman's is swinging at me for two plus a boost. We defend it with Spider UK. It's zero, which is excellent. That's what I like to see. We're going to throw one onto Spider UK, and we're going to throw one onto Victor. 
Then Common Criminal is going to attack. We're going to exhaust and defend with Victor, which then reduces that one to zero. Hey, how's it going? Good to have you here. Good to have you here. Our bad card is going to be uh, Tidal Sands. So Winter Veal plays X Additional, where it's the number of counters. So we got four on here. We do have two swing ends, which actually may be worth it. Oh, actually, uh, don't forget Spider UK response. Yes, I, I did. I did. I, I hit I hit him with, with three. So I thank you. So uh, Collect Angels, I, I have a question. I think that if something does indirect damage, then it's going to... Does okay, so if we do five indirect damage, does one tough status negate one of that five or does it negate all five? I don't quite remember or no, actually. I've been playing it that it negates one. Like, I, I think of it as five indirect Sp spider UK has a British accent, marks my words. Oh, yeah, absolutely, he does. <laughs> Okay, so on my turn, we're gonna. We're at. It can negate all five. Ooh, okay. Well, that makes that significantly better. I, I'm a fan of that. I am a fan of that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to toss a swing in and a web shot to play a swing in. And so that will remove four threat from Tidal Sands. And I did pay for it using a mental resource, which was on web shot. So I can resolve Spider-Man's camouflage ability, which is giving a tough status card and then confusing Sandman. But you can't deal five damage to a character that doesn't have five health. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Like spider UK has one health left. I can't deal five damage to spider UK. You can't deal any extra that, and that makes sense. Yeah. So that is done. We will, we're at nine health still, we're doing fine. Nah, I need to. Okay, yeah, we'll exhaust Spider-Man to remove two from city streets. And then Spider-Man will swing at Sandman, which will ready Spider-Man. <laughs> I feel, we have so many Spider-Men on the table. Spider-Man will attack, which will ready Spider-Man. Just seems insane. So two damage to Sandman. Spider-Man gets readied. Then we will thwart off main for two with Spider-Man. We're going to roll down to Alter Ego. And we're going to shuffle in. Probably a web shot. Or Genki. Genki may actually be nice to shuffle in here. Yeah, we'll, we'll shuffle in Genki. I'm just happy they didn't name Gwen Spider-Woman. Yeah, yeah. I like Ghost Spider. I like Ghost Spider. Or I keep calling her uh, Spider-Gwen, which I think is the same person. I'm not super up to date on all the comics. I think that's the same person, but... Mm. Okay, we're going to toss a What Doesn't Kill Me to kill the common criminal. And that allows us to draw a card, which is Venom. Oh my gosh, it is happening. Everyone calm. Remain calm. It's happening. Okay. So we will toss Jefferson Davis and hang on to Venom. So we're ready, 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 ready. And draw. Hey, there's Genki. Double life. Perseverance. Ooh. Well, I already have a tough status card. Silk. Two, four, six. Mm, they did. The Ghost Spider name came. Okay. Got it. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to start out by placing one here. Sandman's going to scheme, but he's confused, and then we get a bad card. And so any amount of damage, uh, when we would deal any amount of damage to Sandman, discard this sand form instead, and then resolve Surging Sands. Okay. So on my turn... Genki, we get to draw a card. Yeah, okay. So we're going to toss Double Life and Perseverance to play Genki. 
We'll exhaust Genki to draw a card. Just get behind me. We will flip up to hero form. We will... We'll just attack, which will activate this ability. So we place one, mill one. Spider-Man will attack, dealing two damage, which will ready Spider-Man. Down to eight. Uh, just found a comic series named Spider-Gwen Ghost Spider. <laughs> so they are the same person, I guess. Okay. Uh, but I meant in the game. Okay, yeah. No, that makes sense. Cool. Cool. Okay, so now, you know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to have some fun. So let's go ahead and exhaust Web Shooter. We'll toss Get Behind Me Web Shot and Silk to play Venom. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so an, a, a follow-up question, uh, Collect Angels. If I defend with Spider UK against an indirect attack, can I assign zero damage to Spider UK at that point? And put it all onto Spider-Man? I, I would think so. I, I think that's how that, that re interaction would work. Venom will swing for three and take a damage. Sure. Cool. Okay. I like it. Uh, Spider-Man will swing for two. Which takes him to two, which is perfect. So we'll ready everybody. We'll draw up to five. We got Power Within, an Acrobatics, a Genius. Return the Favor. Okay. Interesting. And Strength. Okay. So way too much money. We have way too much money. Okay. Starting out, we're going to place two here. And then Sandman is going to swing in for two. I'm going to defend with Spider UK, which will deal two damage to Sandman. So this actually takes effect before the attack resolves because it's an interrupt. Um, so we'll go ahead and just move him. So we'll put him up to 18. Diamond's Edge, I have way too much money as someone you don't hear outside of card games and video. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's very fair. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Spider UK. We dealt the two damage. Win re resolve city streets. Mill two. Gang up and split form. Okay, I'm good with getting rid of those. And then now he's going to deal three plus two and we'll throw it into this tough. Now our we get two bad cards. So the first, oh, boom. Our first bad card, we're gonna deal one damage to Venom and deal three damage because of the Dirt Trap. I love Venom. I'll, I'll go out and say it. I This is a lot of fun. It's dirt Trap, when defeated, do Surge effect. Oh, uh, and then Shadows of the Past, excellent. Okay, so don't have any cancels, so that is gonna happen. We will go ahead and just deal one more damage to Venom and deal two damage to the Sandman. And Shadows takes effect. So, I'm gonna get Prowler. We are not in alter ego form. So he just comes in as a one, two, five. And then we got Tracking Prey, which is four. And we're not in alter ego form. So that does throw an acceleration token here and shuffle these. Okay, so they're at 13. Villain's at 13. So. Okay, yeah, I mean, let's let's have some fun here. Like, right? Okay, so let's, uh, let's play Return the Favor. Yep, so discard, nah, before that, before that, sorry. Let's go ahead and exhaust Genki to draw a card. Defense Mechanism. We'll toss defense mechanism. I think we have we we got we we have game here. I think um, I think pretty easily. Um, yep. 
Yep. So we will go ahead and exhaust and remove the last counter from Web Shooter to play Power Within. We will go ahead and attack Sandman for two with Spider-Man. And then we'll go ahead and trigger Power Within to do two more and then stun Sandman. Um, Venom will swing for three. One, two, three. You got, we'll pay a strength to play in an acrobatics to deal five damage. One, two, three, four, five. And then we will do return the favor. So discard cards until we get a treachery. There's a treachery right there. Um, the villain schemes. So that's going to be one plus one is two. And then deal five damage to Sandman. Well, there you go. That that was uh, that was protection. Venom, Venom plus return of the favor is a fun combo, right? Because you got say say I flipped up Sand Smash, right? So instead of five, I'm dealing six damage to Venom or to uh, Sandman via Venom <laughs> Prowler. Yeah, I was just passing by. Just show up and like, eh, you know what? Never mind. No. Um, I I like this deck a lot more than I thought I was going to. For some, I don't know why I had it in my head that I wasn't going to enjoy Miles and Protection, but I this was a lot of fun. So I I, I really enjoyed this. I like the Return the Favor. I like the Venom, and it works really well because of so much stun that Spider-Man has access to. So cool. Awesome. Well, that was a that was a fun, exciting, long stream. I appreciate everyone hanging out. If you haven't already, you can find the link to our Discord in the bio. We run monthly challenges for all the LCGs as well as kind of get the schedule of when we're streaming and when new content is coming out. You can say that deck is stunning. <laughs> yeah, I like those interactions that only work because it's Sandman. Um, what? So why, why does that interaction only work because it's Sandman? Like, I get it wouldn't work because if we were fighting, like, Venom. Um, you could say that deck is stunning. So, like, Spider UK Toughness. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, yep, yep, I get it, yep. That's hilarious, though. That I mean, that is a lot of fun. Um, okay, so I will be back. My next stream will be this Wednesday. We're going to be starting the Edge of the Earth campaign for Arkham Horror. We'll be streaming with D20 Woodworking. So we'll start out by kind of building our decks, and then we'll run through the first scenario of that campaign. And then I am moving next week, and so it's going to be kind of chaotic. So the Discord has the most up-to-date information on whenever... Uh, I will be streaming as well as the, the schedule here on Twitch. So thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. Look forward to talking with you all real soon. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend and have a good start to your week. Peace.